This morning, I want us to take some time to think about and just discover or learn from Scripture a few thoughts on end times lifestyle. How are we supposed to live? And so I want us to you know, try and understand what does the Bible actually tell us? How do I live in a state of readiness? How do I live as a person uh, who understands that we are living in the end times? First, verse 7. He says, be serious and watchful in your prayers. So he's saying, be sound-minded, be serious, meaning be sound-minded, be clear-minded, be watchful, be sober, be always self-controlled. Why? So that you can give yourself to prayer, so that you could be prayerful. So the first thing that Peter is saying, if you and I as people living the, in, in the end times, is first thing is be prayerful. So pray, stay clear, keep your mind clear. Uh, don't let anything overpower you, intoxicate you, influence you. Stay, be sober so that you can give yourself to be watchful in prayer. Second thing, he says, have fervent love. This is verse 8. He says, and above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. So, he says, have love, fervent love. That means passionate love and love that's enduring. And even when we minister truth, we do it in love. It may take some time for people to get to know the truth. Be patient. It may take some time for people to come aligned to the truth. Be patient. Because love is patient. Love is kind. And what Peter highlights here is this. He says, love will cover a multitude of sins. You know, we'll get it wrong. None of us are perfect. But then when we love people, we love them in spite of the wrong. We're not condoning the wrong, but we love them. Number three, and I'll just quickly go through this. He says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. So be hospitable, be welcoming to one another in these days. And so we, you and I can extend that in whatever way we can uh, to people in need. Number four, he says, serve, 1 Peter 4 and verse 10, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So he says, you know, as people who are living in the end times, take all the gifts that God has put in your life and use it to serve people. Be a good steward. So each one here, I want to encourage you, as you have received a gift, there is something that God has blessed you with. It may be things you can use in the church. It may be things that you can use in the world. You may be you know, a good in business. You may be a professional. Uh, whatever kind of work you're doing, Peter is saying, you know, whatever you received it, you use it to serve and be a good steward of the grace of God on your life. And lastly, number five, First Peter, verse 11, chapter 4, verse 11. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with the ability which God supplies, that in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and dominion forever and ever. What do you want to see happen through your life? One thing. I want to see God glorified through my life. Whatever I do, I want God to be glorified. It's not about my name. It's not about my reputation. It's not about how much money I make or what I can you know, how, how successful it can be. I mean, all those things are okay. They're good. They're secondary, perhaps even immaterial. But there's one thing that should motivate all of us. We want God to be glorified through our lives. That's how we live in the end times. Amen.